I'm Nadine Marie, and today Bay Area HQ is talking to the legendary Eddie Money. Thank, Thank you so much. much, Nadine. Thanks for having me on the show. And you know, I'm from the Bay Area. I did so many shows in San Jose. Somebody just wrote me a newspaper article from 1975. I didn't have my record deal until 1976, and I got a lot of old friends coming down from Berkeley and San Jose and Costa, you know, Concord. It's just yeah. great to play in the Bay Area. You're a New Yorker, but what's your favorite thing to do in the Bay Area when you have time? You're, you're so busy, but when you have time? Well, there's, you know, those great haunts, my old bars, they used to go to McNally's in Oakland and uh, Tommy's, I love the Bay Area, the San, you know, San Francisco, Berkeley, Provo Park, Tilden Park, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I was in Berkeley for a long, long time, you know, I, I got my record deal in Berkeley and uh, then I moved to North Oakland near the uh, College of Arts and Crafts, so uh, I always consider myself to be a Bay Area boy, you know? Right. So now, sports teams, New York teams, or are we talking Cali teams? Have you switched? No, actually, the truth, Mark Davis, who owns the uh, owns the Oakland Raiders, is a very good friend of mine, and we've been working together with the so-called One More Soldier coming home, and he's put setting something up so the money goes to the Wounded Warriors. Uh, I've been working with him, and Denise DiBartolo is a very good personal friend of mine, Dr. York's wife. So, you know, I, I love the Bay Area teams, and I'm, I'm very happy, and you know, I'm close to both the owners. Yeah. We've been friends a long time. So you have 26 top 100 hits. You, you're constantly performing. How do you keep it so fresh? Because everyone says about you that you're just such a, you're a show. You, you go and you get your money's worth with any money. So how do you keep that so fresh when you perform? Well, I tell you, I got five kids. I'll do anything to get out of the house. <laughs> No, I mean, you know, I, you know, I stay in shape, you know, I'm, I'm sober. Uh, you you know. look great. Thank you so much. I wish my wife was a fan. Ha <laughs> ha. No, but, you know, the thing is, is like, you know, the guys like to work. I like to work. To see people light up when they hear Baby Hold On and Two Ticks of Paradise or Take Me Home Tonight. And now, now that the power of the internet, these kids, six, seven years old, know the second verse to take them in love. Because the parents grew up with me and Oreo Speedwagon and mm -hmm. Peter Frampton and Styx and Survivor. So all their parents grew up, so now the kids, the little kids, uh, they're all the kids are into like whatever the kids are listening to, but the little kids and anybody from 35 up to like 65, I mean, when I made it in 77, you got to figure there were some people that were like 30 years old that were already money fans. So uh, we got a lot of great fans out there. And your fans are varied. I mean, even at this show tonight in Campbell, I'm looking at the audience and it's every age group and Lady Gaga even gave you a shout out. Come on. Well, she's a great lady. Actually, she's just a little Italian girl from Queens who went to Catholic school. But she's a, she's a very talented individual. Reminds me of my daughter. My daughter's a great singer, Jessie Money. Yes. And she tours with me. And she'll be putting out a record. And I have a son named Dez. You can look him up, Dez Money, D-E-Z Money. He's a very talented young man. And I wanted him to be a lawyer or a cop. But he really fell into music on his own. And, and he's, he's got the gift. Yeah, Apple doesn't fall too far, right, from the tree? I, you know, I'm just very excited about his career because I'm not a Bill Graham. So I'm paying all the bills for him right now, but I think it's going to pay back. Watch, she'll turn around and make it and, and not take care of me and his mom. <laughs> no, we have proof. We have proof on camera now. He's a good kid. So what did you tell you? Your kids are very musically inclined. What did you tell them after all your experience? What was your first piece of advice? Uh... You know, the first piece of advice for me is, like, I didn't think that they were all going to get into music. But, I mean, they've been giving me, my, my daughter who sings with me on stage, you can remember, she used to bells, bells on her little white shoes, and she'd come out to give daddy a cup, of, a cup of water on stage. i got pictures of my kids on stage with me since, you know, since the time they were born. But, I mean, rock and roll, it's like, you know, if you work in a circus, they say you got sawdust in your blood. Well, if you're into rock and roll, they, you know, they got this rock and roll in their blood, you know. Yeah. So you're also quite the ladies' man still. Everyone, all the ladies still love you. Well, I love all the ladies, but I'm very happily married. I mean, I can look at the menu, but I haven't come to eat. <laughs> <laughs> now, would you say that you had a very work hard, play hard attitude your whole career? Like you worked really hard, but you also had a really good time doing it. Well, I tell you the truth. When I was younger, baby, hold on, two tickets to paradise. I geared a lot of my music toward the girls. You know, I wasn't dependent on guys to buy my records. You know, I, I was kind of like, you know. You know, I was always into, like, you know, trying to sell my music to chicks. It's the name of the game. I mean, I found out the best way to date the cheerleaders in high school without being on the football team is be the rock band in high school. Or put them in your music videos. Is it true that you had Apollonia from Prince's video in one of your videos first? Apollonia did me before she even did Purple Rain. The first professional thing she ever did was, uh, was uh, the shaking video. And she, you know, she was a very pretty girl. But, you know, for a Mexican, I thought she'd be a better dancer. Oh, some smack talking she, Prince is going to no, come out no, now. I'm just say she was really good, but I have to say that on behalf of my on behalf of my wife, you know. Yeah, of course. So what you're saying is just to keep it PC is that it was you know, there. Not sleeping with Abalonia, you know. 
a wink wink and a nudge nudge. So what you're saying is there was never three tickets to paradise. You never went that far, right? Well, no. I mean, uh, you know, I've always, my first wife, who still lives up in the Bay Area, we were tight for a long time. But Lori and I have been married and going together now for like 28 years. Wow. So uh, That's huge, especially in the industry you're in. Well, yeah, we've had our ups and downs, but, you know, it's, uh, like they say, boys, it's cheaper to keep them. <laughs> That's a very, very good point. Now, you talk about your, your charity that you're affiliated with. Is there anything coming up? I know you do some golf events, celebrity well, golf events. Uh, we do a lot of golf, and I play golf like Stevie Wonder at night, but we do a lot of things. We do a lot of shows, and I love to get out there and play the game. Uh, I'm supporting the... Uh, the Intrepid Heroes, uh, for, uh, uh, the Intrepid Fallen Hero Foundation, uh, they have two facilities, one in San Antonio with 110 beds, and they just have a new, new facility they had in Maryland, and it's for these kids coming back with these head trauma injuries, whether they be physical or psychological from Afghanistan. So I'm trying to help the troops out. we got a so-called One More Soldier coming home, and Mark Davis is getting behind it with the Oakland Raiders, and uh, maybe if the Wounded Warriors will see if we can get it on the charts yeah. and do something for these, you know, the, you know, the sorriest thing I've heard in the last two weeks is that some of these veterans are coming back and actually you know, contemplating suicide. It's like, you know, we got to do as much as we can for our, you know, our, our, our heroes, you know. I mean, they got a 70-pound pack on their back. It's 114 degrees. And those people over there, they don't really appreciate them. Yeah. And they come back and they're forgotten, right? Well, they, I haven't forgotten them. Oh, my heart yeah. goes out to these guys. Every yeah. time I get off a plane, I say to the, all the other, you know, citizens, let's give them a standing ovation when they get off the plane. Because, you know, I mean, you do what you can. And boy, can those Marines drink. <laughs> you go broke buying those guys drinks on the plane. But spoken like a true rock star, what a great rock star attitude. You, you, you've gotten so much, but you give it all back, which is huge, right? That's what it's all about. Well, you know, you got to take care of the kids, and you, you got to sleep good at night. You got to make sure the rock and roll, you know, people like Greg Kinn and Bay Area Boys, you know, you Green Day. Bay Area people, Sammy Haggard, Bay Area people, uh, Tower of Power. I mean, we had a lot of great people come out of the Bay Area. Yeah. And uh, it's just, a, it's great to be back up here. And uh, yeah. I don't know, I'm, I'm going to have a lot of fun tonight. Well, I'm going to have fun too. The show is packed already. I'm going to let you get back in there. Maybe, uh, I don't know, afterwards you take me home tonight? I don't want to let you go till you see the light. Thanks so much for oh, waiting. Thank you, you so much.